Well, the last day of school is a time to celebrate a, a year of academic growth and look forward to the path that lies ahead. And that's true for both students and teachers. Today, Delaine Cleveland introduces us to a Northview Junior High teacher who just wrapped up her first year in the classroom and now has her eye on a big summer prize. I need to try to hit the green pin. On the last day of school. It. It's bowling, it's not baseball, so you can't like chuck it. This art class at Northview Junior High is more about fun and games <laughs> than it is about learning. Oh, that was really close. But why wouldn't it be with summer vacation on the horizon? Yes. For first year teacher Rachel Latta. I love learning about different kinds of cultures, so just coming to this school really helped open my eyes up even more. Nice try. She admits nice try. this year was a growing experience. My first year was just all about learning about the community here and learning about these students. When I first started, it wasn't easy, and, and it's, it's not easy. Engagement, relationships. And it might not have been easy, but Principal John Gronke says she's made quite the impression this first year. Probably what impresses me most is her passion for art, her passion for helping kids um, see art for more than just... You have creativity. You know, maybe what I learned in art and really have them appreciate and get a passion for it and that. So these are all tools. Yet while Latta prides herself on being an art teacher... This is the traveling case. She also wears a different hat, or to be more specific, a crown. Yes, aside from being Miss Ladiff, I'm actually Miss St. Paul. Ladiff earned her crown in January, which means that she'll now go on to compete for the Miss Minnesota title next week. The thing that's so important about Miss Minnesota is that now I can take my platform who, that was at a community level and I can bring that to a statewide level. Her platform is cultural competency, which revolves around using art to help students find and enhance their voice. It's all about just getting students to want to make a change through their artwork. Today, her reach is limited to Brooklyn Park. She hopes it extends beyond that. With um, a supportive school and a little bit of passion, it can get you pretty far. In Brooklyn Park, Delaine Cleveland, 12 News. The preliminary competition for Miss Minnesota begins Wednesday with the winner crowned on Saturday, June 14th. The winner will go on to the Miss America pageant. So good luck out there to Rachel. Yeah, absolutely. Go get them.